Continuing on the custom car review streak, we're going to be talking about a Dokkan Fest Garlic Jr. But before I go ahead and read Ronin's message inside the email, send me custom cards over to bhfcustomcards.gmail.com so I can get to your custom card in the near future. I'm getting all these older custom cards out the way. I have a couple of uh, quick announcements I want to make. One, I'm going to be going out of town tomorrow, so I'm not going to be uploading until I get back, which is going to be next week. And two, when I do come back, I'm planning on doing the custom card live stream where i review hopefully all of the custom cards that i didn't get to review when i was doing my little custom car review videos because i said i was only going to do one a day um there are a lot of cards i need to look at yeah like there are <laughs> so yeah uh there are going to be no uploads until i come back but I mean, we're going to do one big live stream where I get a lot of custom cards out the way just to make up for it. So with that being said, um, Ronin says, hey, Dev, it's been a long time that I've sent you custom card ideas. So I wanted to do something unusual, uh, parentheses, I hope it is, this time. Anyways, shout out from Brazil. Shout out my Brazilian homie slash homies. Shout out all you guys out there. Uh, we got gang over in brazil come on man come on man huge huge love anyways uh hope you're well hope you keep doing good love your content and it's a joe confess garlic jr yes sir okay i appreciate it a lot uh ronan all the love and, and you know the support from this message is just uh, unfathomable this the support is just immaculate anyways uh Let's see what exactly we're looking at here. And he has the 200% of pulled up. Thank you very much, Ronan. You are a goat. So I remember me talking about a Garlic Jr. Did I talk about a Garlic Jr. like last week? I think. I think I talked about a Garlic Jr. Yeah. I've noticed I've been getting a lot of like fusion characters. Like a bunch of fusion slash like villain characters. Hey, I'm all for it. Okay, so Extreme AGL Garlic Jr. Quest for Inherited Revenge. His leader skill is terrifying conquer. Wait, hold on. I'm covering it. How about myself up here? Why not? Okay. So his leader skill is terrifying conquerors or resurrected warriors or power of wishes three key and one 70% across the board. And his 30% of the stats is two movie bosses or transformation boost. And this goat just has the link already pulled up for me. You are it just your your king. Okay. Um, I mean, we do got this guy's ZZA. Nice. You still could get some use out of Orange Piccolo. You have the Broly Trio ZZA. Of course, a very versatile unit. Um, you got the Int Fat Boo. You, uh, you have uh, the Int Golden Frieza. Haruta Goat. Uh, there are a couple of options. You could definitely make the Physical Turles and STR Team Turles rotation work. You definitely could. But outside of that, um... I mean, of course, you have the AGL uh, Shape Up Boo. Excuse me, I called him Skinny Boo yesterday. Shape Up Boo. Uh, you have the um, <laughs> you have Mr. Goat. You have uh, Exchange Boo. I mean, you just have your run-of-the-mill good options on the team. But then outside of that, this team is carried by great easy A's. Good slash great easy A's. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. And a couple of good dough contests. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Outside of that, this category is kind of kind of boo-boo. I'm just going to say it all right because it's not a plethora of good options. But, hey, uh, at least you have a couple of uh, good easy A's on that category. Anyways, so the super attack for his, what is it, LR? I glance over the fact he's LR. He is not. He's a Dokkan Fest TUR. Okay, yeah. Okay, so the super attack, that being the Demon God Blast, 30% attack and defense for one turn while doing immense damage to enemy. Nice. Which is a nice standard 30% attack and defense one turn. Can't go wrong with that. Passive Immortal Power. This guy starts out with 160% attack and defense at the start of the turn. Cool. And he also recovers 10% HP at the start of the turn. Nice little nifty ability just to have. Just to recover HP just outright. And he has a 70% chance to dodge for 5 turns from starter turn. And he gets a 30% chance to dodge from the 6th turn and onward. 
And he also gets an additional 100% attack and defense when attacking. Nice considering the fact that he gets 30% attack and defense on his super attack effect. And he's getting 100% attack and defense when attacking. You guys know that's good. An attack and defense buff in your pass to your super attack effect is nice because it provides a more of a attack and defense buff when you're attacking the enemy, right? And he also gets an additional 60% attack and defense when attacking a super class enemy. So that is nice. So you definitely want to go up against a super class enemy to get the most amount of attack and defense out of this character attacking the specific enemy, that being a super class enemy. So if you're attacking a super class enemy, you're getting 160% attack and defense, which is obviously very nice. And he gives power wishes or movie bosses three key and 50% attack and defense so that includes for himself by the way because it doesn't say self-exclude that is that's a monstrous support type buff and he also recovers 20% HP at the end of the turn in which an attack was received so he can recover up to 30% HP in total one 10% HP at the start of the turn and 20% at the end of the turn when he receives an attack that's good so up to 30 percent hp recovery up to 160 percent attack and defense when attacking the enemy he also gives a monstrous support buff to movie bosses and power wishes characters that being three key and 50 percent attack and defense and he has a up to a 70 percent chance to dodge that is nice that's nice um solid super attack effect and good looking passive i don't really have much more to say here within those first five turns he has the defensive ability to fall back on being that 70 percent chance to dodge but can you take damage within the first turn before he attacks yes but i'd like to assume after he does super he's going to be looking quite fine um is there anything i would add to his uh, pre-transformation um i don't know I feel like everything looks all right. Yeah, I don't really have much of an issue. He has his defensive ability. He's giving monstrous support. He's recovering HP that that just directly helping the team. He gets an attack and defensive buff from his passive to a super attack effect. I'd probably say, I mean, you don't need to start him out with key either because he gets that three key and 50% attack and defense. So he's he has key to start out with just from a support type buff because it doesn't say self-excluded. I... I'd probably say let him build up off of dodging. Let him build up 100% attack and defense plus off of dodging. 20% attack and defense up to 100% attack and defense with each attack dodged. So he just has to dodge five times to get to 100% attack and defense. That's it. That's the probably one thing I'd give to him. Reward him for dodging. That's it. I, I don't have much more to say. Or maybe give him, I don't know, lower attack on his super attack effect. But I feel like this base is left the way it is because i'm pretty certain that the super guard junior part of the card is ridiculous so i'm fine with the base uh hey i don't know let me know if you ch if any of you guys would change anything down below in the comment section okay so this guy has a active skill transformation fourth turn from start of battle once only very easy strong good active skill condition no problems at all uh, and his link set is demonic ways metamorphosis Big bad bosses, brutal beatdown, thirst of conquest, nightmare, and fierce battle. I yeah, I don't have an issue with this this pre-transformation. I don't. Yeah. I'd probably add like lower attack or seal in a super attack effect and just make him what was this the suggestion I gave? Oh yeah, to let him build a uh attack and defense off a of dodge. That's it. That is all. That's and even then you don't even have to do that. Yeah, like <laughs> I get why the base is uh the way it is. I get it because super color trim is probably bananas and these are stats are shown for all my stat junkies by the way anyways uh we have super garlic jr and i noticed that garlic jr has some pretty garbage pngs like this png is just i'm sorry it sucks <laughs> and i it, it's like his his best png is like this is probably the best png i've seen like where, what game is this from i is this from super dragon ball world heroes like <laughs> um Okay, anyways, oh, Super Dragon Ball World Heroes, is that the game? Dragon Ball Heroes? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so Super Garlic Jr., his new super attack effect, and well, the name, that being the Brutal Outburst, he gains 50% attack and defense for one turn, and he does immense damage to enemy. Nice. And his passive, this guy starts out, of course, the passive name is Invincible Demon. He starts out with three key and 200% attack and defense, as well as 50% damage reduction at the start of the turn. Three key, 200% attack and defense, and 50% damage reduction. Just unrestricted at the start of the turn. Okay. <laughs> I, I mean, that, that's good. 
And he also gets 40% attack up to 160% and 15% defense up to 60% with each uh, time. He, uh, well, that says at the start of each turn. Um, So he gets attack and defense for each time he comes back on turn. So he gets stronger as the turns go on. And he recovers 10% HP at the start of turn from his pre-transmission. Nice. And he just gets the 160% attack and defense for performing a super attack. Nice, so he doesn't have to go up against a specific enemy for that additional 60% attack and defense. He also guards all attacks when the, the domain is active. Okay. And he gets a 10% chance to crit up to 66% with each attack received. And he recovers 20% HP at the end of the turn in which the attack was received. Okay. And his active skill able to be used uh, starting from the sixth turn from the start of battle once only and he creates the domain dead zone for three turns and within that domain the effect he gives extreme class allies 16 percent damage reduction and super class allies and enemies take an additional 16 percent damage so he loses his support well, he technically still gives support, that being only 16% damage reduction, but he loses that 3 key and 50% attack and defense from his pre transformation Um, he's looking pretty good. You pop this character's active skill transformation, and all of a sudden, he has guard with a 50% damage reduction, so I don't really... Where do you go wrong there? He gets stronger as the turns go on, going from 40% attack up to 160% attack and 15% defense up to 60% defense. So it's I like anything's like getting worse about the card. At worst, this guy's losing his guard after the, the domain wears off, but I'm pretty certain that the fight is almost done by the time this guy's domain is almost halfway through or pretty much at the beginning of it. Uh um he built up crit chance. Cool, so he's doing damage. Well, that's a uh, offensive maneuver. Um, he still recovers HP, recovers up to 30% HP from his pre-transformation, I believe. So, what he's doing for the team, I mean, he's giving extreme class characters 16% damage reduction, as well as recovering HP just for you as a whole, that being up to 30% HP, as well as giving 16% damage reduction to extreme class allies. And I think that is about it. Yeah, and what, of course, what he's bringing to you on the defensive end is, I mean, 200% attack and defense. Well, 200% defense, 50% uh, damage reduction, and guard. Because you open up with the act skill uh, transformation. He's guarding with 50% damage reduction because he guards when his domain is up. And he builds up his crit chance very easily because he just has to get hit. What's that? It's like seven times? I think it's seven times to get that additional 6% on top of that 66%. Yeah, on top of that, 60%, I believe. Uh, well, mean. Uh, I don't have much to say here. Why I change anything about this? Probably not. No. I, well, no. I mean, he's, the only thing he doesn't have is additional super attack chance, but that is it. He's looking pretty all right to me. Yeah, I get why he's losing his support from his pre-transformation to his post-transformation. I like the card. I do. Yeah, I'd probably only give him additional super attack chance. I'd probably give him a guaranteed super when he takes a hit, but that's it. <laughs> like, that is all. Let's just reward him for getting hit with his 50% damage reduction and guard while you're in domain. Or maybe just give him a guaranteed super while his domain is up. And that's it. That, that's all. I mean, that's it. <laughs> um. So, I mean, we pretty much get the gist of what this guy does. He's pretty much damage right damage he's a two-way offensive and defensive machine with getting up to a getting up to a guarantee guard with the domain being active as well as 50 percent damage reduction he gets stronger as the fight goes on he recovers hp for the team he gives 16 percent damage reduction for chain class allies um and he builds up crit chance too granted you take those hits and then this guy is just going to be taking health off the boss's health bar i mean what more is there to say and then this guy is your run-of-the-mill uh hp recovering dodging support uh attack and defensive buff from passive to super attack effect type of i get i get the gist of what he's trying to go for inside this pre transmission i get it i get it for sure but i think that is about it w card ronin yeah ronin i think ronin sent this I think it was. But yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. Send me custom cards over to bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com so I can get to your custom card in the near future. I'm getting all these older custom cards out of the way. Uh, do I have any, like, end of video messages? Because, of course, this is for all my people that stay to the end of the video. I don't think I do. Yeah. Uh, just look out for a live stream next week. I don't know when next week, but look out next week for a live stream. 
Yeah. Is it worldwide about to start too? I'm not even gonna be home for worldwide. And there's no way. And there's no way I'm gonna be doing a live stream for my old laptop. That is not happening. Inside my closet. <laughs> Uh, again, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. I, yeah, I have nothing else to say. <laughs> Peace.